Hey everyone, today I'm decorating the front porch for Halloween, but first I'm going to remove the light from this ghost because it didn't have a timer and since it's going to go on my front porch, I didn't want to have to turn it on and off every night. This candle happened to fall and break and what I did was I decided, well, I don't want to waste it. That I removed the timer box and light from the candle and I'm going to replace it in the bottom of this guy so he'll have a timer. It won't be as bright as the light it came with but it'll still do the job and it'll be on a timer so I don't have to turn it on and off every night. I happen to like this one better because it does flicker where the other one I don't think it flickered quite as much. I like how it looks like it's a candle with the flickering. I can put it on my front porch now without worrying about turning it on and off. Here's the front porch. I have my fall wreath up here with my fall wreath hanger that I made or decorated you could say earlier this year. Got this. Here's everything I'm using. I have these planters. They're pumpkins. On one side they have jack-o'-lantern faces and on the other they're just plain pumpkins. And I bought these mums at Sam's for $16. $16 each. I bought the planters at a place called Callaway's a very long time ago, probably 10 years ago and they've withstood the test of time. They're made out of like a, uh, it's like a really sturdy plastic. Definitely a favorite purchase. One of my most favorite purchases I've made. First thing I'm gonna do is just flip that around for the boo sign. I have one of you guys to thank for this idea. You said to use a chalk pen and to outline the bat. Hopefully I understood what you meant and I did it correctly. It's not perfect. Couldn't find my chalk pen, but I did use some paint. Looks like I've got company. Hopefully he'll uh, get back to doing what he was doing before I need to go back in. All right, <gasps> look at that. Thank you for that beautiful idea. jumping on the bandwagon. I don't have the bats, but I do have spiders. I think I'm going to put them along the, somewhere along here.
company reached out to me and they sent me some lights. It's a company called on for you spelled O N F O R U. They sent them to me so I can review them for you. It's got two remotes. Oh, it even comes with a battery. They're pretty good size remotes. It's an LED floodlight, a pack of two. It has this arm that you can fold in and it looks like you can mount it, like if you were to mount it to a wall or something. So they both come with the same bracket or same arm. that in. Oh, that is bright. Okay. Uh, let's unplug that. Whew. I have the 50 watt RGB LED floodlights and it's model FG80. It has a DIY custom color and 44 keys remote control, which there's the remote control, 44 keys. Let's see, I want orange for Halloween. Let me plug in the other one. I've done this one in, in orange, can't tell. And then this one's green. You can you can control the light from your remote. It has a three three hour timer, six hour timer, or a twelve hour timer. It has twenty adjustable colors, six different modes. That's auto. There's quick, and then to stop it, I'll just you just hit that button there, and then it also has white. And then you can adjust the brightness with these two buttons here. It is waterproof. And it's pretty simple installation. You just plug and go unless you want to mount it on something. It has these, these grooves in here to help it vent so it doesn't overheat, which is nice. It does get a little it does get a little warm, not too it doesn't feel too warm though. I've had it on for about five minutes. Next, I'm gonna go set these up in my lawn because I'm gonna have them shining on my house at night for Halloween. Not too bad. I just had to plug them in to my cords and run it to my outlet here. Once I can see them lit up at night, I'll know exactly how I want it. Mm -hmm. 